Hi, Magix has released Music Maker 2023 along with free, plus, and premium editions. If you have Music Maker 2022 or earlier, you can upgrade to 2023 for free. If you don't have a previous version of Music Maker, you can install Music Maker 2023 for free. If you don't know the difference between a version of the program, which is free, and an edition, which is not free, watch my tutorial on Music Maker 2022 Getting Started, Versions and Editions. To see what's new in Music Maker 2023, go to the Compare Editions chart on the magix.com site. New editions are well indicated and you'll get those that have a check mark under the Free column. Let's get Music Maker 2023 installed. Normally, the welcome screen shows that an update is available. Note that I have Music Maker 2022 Premium Edition and the version is 30.0.6.54. This time, Music Maker only shows this in the adverts part. If you click on it, magix.com will open to the Music Maker page. Close Music Maker before continuing. If you don't have Music Maker or it isn't open, go to the magix.com site, Music, select Music Maker, and you'll be on the same page. Scroll down until you see Choose Your Edition. I'm not going to purchase Plus or Premium just now. However, if you do purchase an edition now, the process is identical to what I'll show here. The Music Maker program is exactly the same. There is no separate program for a Plus or Premium Edition. I'll select Try It Now under Free and the download page opens. I'm not a robot. Start download and the setup program starts downloading. When done, open it and you'll get a welcome screen. Select the language and continue. The installation program will now be downloaded. Another screen pops up to select the language to use during installation. Select your language if you don't want English International. Then OK. A welcome screen appears. By default, Select Additional Software is checked. Click on Select Additional Software to see what this is. I don't want Opera, so I'll uncheck it. Next, Update Notifier appears. Read what it says and decide if you want it. I already have it, so I'll uncheck the box. Apply takes us back to the welcome screen. Click on Change Default Settings. Click on Select Target Paths. By default, Music Maker will be installed in your C drive under Program Files. You can change this, but I don't recommend it. Templates and Effects will go under C, Program Data, unless you change it. Again, I don't recommend doing this. Next is content and sound pools in Magix programs. If you have a previous version installed, the folder and path already exists, so this option will be grayed out. Note the location. If not, you can change this to another location. This can get very large if you acquire many sound pools. If space is limited on your C drive, then change it to another internal drive if you have one, and preferably not an external USB drive. The last item is under User Files, and you can leave this or change it to another drive. Note that my documents are on my B drive by default, so I'll leave this alone. Click on Desktop Shortcut. Leave the box checked if you want a shortcut to show up on your desktop. OK takes us back to the welcome screen. The last item to look at is the license agreements and privacy statement. I suggest that you review this, particularly the part about commercial use. Click on Agree and Install. If you have a previous version of Music Maker, like 2022 or 2021, it will be replaced. This is the program, not an edition. Next. Installation starts, and this can take some time. The Done screen pops up, and you can start Music Maker now. So let's get started. Watch the various screens as Music Maker is loading. A welcome screen opens. This is called the onboarding screen. Give yourself a name that you can change anytime. Continue. 
I'll start with loops and samples. The MIDI keyboard opens. Click on one of the keys. If you hear a sound, great. If not, click on You Can Get Help Here. This opens the audio settings where you can select a driver. Click on your sound play button. If you still can't hear anything, select another ASIO driver. If nothing works, just continue and do this later in the program. I'll continue. Next, you have to create a user account if you don't have one. If you have an account, then sign in. Do not create another one. I'll sign in. And continue. Select your level of expertise. I know my way around, so I'll select professional. Next screen, select up to three genres. And continue. Great, I'm on the last screen. I already have the free sound pools, so I'll click on Start with Loops and Samples. The Music Maker interface now opens. Watch what happens. Automatic features are downloaded and installed. Wait until this is completed. Done. I'm on the interface with the arranger with four tracks showing. The Song Maker interface at the bottom and the media pools with tabs for store and loops at the right. To see if there's anything more that needs to be downloaded and installed, click on the cloud button with the downwards arrow to get the download screen. I have two items under instruments that need to be downloaded and installed. I'll start with DNE1. It downloads and I'll install it. Then Vita Sampler. Install. There are some items under features that need to be downloaded and installed. For now, I only want Revolta plus presets. I'll download and install it. Great! I'll open Help to display the Start dialog screen. This is what you'll normally see when you start Music Maker each time. Look at the right side. My email address, which is my username, shows up meaning that I'm logged in. You need to be logged in. Below that, it says Music Maker Premium Edition 2022. That is the last activated edition that I have. I didn't purchase a 2023 edition, but if I had, I could activate it now by entering the serial number that I received. If you did purchase an edition, you only need to install Music Maker 2023 once. If you've already installed it, don't try to install it again. As well, if you've already activated a serial number, do not activate it again. I'll click on All Activated Music Maker Editions. My list is long. Music Maker recognized all of these because I'm logged in, and I get all of the features, presets, and instruments that I have acquired with these editions. I'll close that. Note at the bottom of the screen is the version number of Music Maker, 31. 0.0.9, which corresponds to Music Maker 2023. Music Maker 2022 was version 30. There's another opportunity to get the free sound pools. Clicking on it brings up the free loops. As I said, I already have them. If you don't, then select each one and follow the instructions. They'll be downloaded and installed under the sound pools folder. Open the program settings by clicking on the gear icon. Review each tabbed page. Under Folders, you'll see the location of the sound pools, which should be the same as what we saw during installation. Switch to Project Settings. Since I have Premium Editions activated, I have access to more tracks. I'll select 16. Before completing this tutorial, Magix came out with a couple of patches. You can update to the latest patch before continuing, or do it later. I'll update by clicking on Start Download. Follow the process through to the end. You'll notice that the Start dialog screen has been modified. Instead of a pop-down for the list of all activated Music Maker editions, there's now a listing. Click on New Project to close the screen and continue. The new version of the program is now installed and it was free. 
Well, that's enough for now. Till next time, start making music.